What happens in a narcissist's mind during no contact? Unveiling the insane psychology. Everyone. Severing ties with a narcissist can feel like navigating a complex maze, especially when the harsh reality of their true nature becomes clear. Whether they coldly rejected you or subjected you to relentless abuse, deciding to cut off contact is a tough choice. Yet maintaining this distance proves even more challenging, requiring unwavering determination. Adhering to no contact speaks volumes about your strength and resilience against toxicity. It's an acknowledgement of the toxic person's true colors and a commitment to your well-being. The far-reaching effects of this decision are often underestimated. The impact may not be immediate, but over time, the resilience you show in maintaining no contact affects the abuser's psyche. Even if the narcissist seems unaffected initially, a subtle yet undeniable transformation begins. Many fail to grasp the depth of this psychological shift when standing firm against toxicity. Several reasons contribute to this, and I'll delve into them more thoroughly than in previous discussions. Firstly, when you go no contact on a narcissist, they lose control. Narcissists dislike losing control. They prefer throwing breadcrumbs, testing your reactions, and monitoring your life. No contact deprives them of the control and dominance they need for stability. As you remain committed to no contact, the narcissist gradually feels the impact of losing control, and this eats away at them. The longer you stick to it, the more pronounced this effect becomes over time. When you choose to go no contact with a narcissist and maintain that distance, it creates a significant challenge for them. They begin to question their own worth, thinking, wait a minute, I considered myself superior to this person. They relied on me, needed me. I was convinced they couldn't survive without me. Now suddenly, maybe they can. Perhaps they're better off without me. The narcissist starts doubting their own value, especially as they observe your own values rising. It's like a seesaw effect. In the past, if you had left or been discarded by them, you would have been devastated by the devaluation, while they would have felt triumphant, reveling in putting others down. However, when the tables are turned and you take control, it becomes an unsettling experience for the narcissist. In this video, I'll delve deeper into these two aspects, how the narcissist loses control and the shift in perceived value, exploring their impact on the narcissist's psyche. Combining these elements, it's akin to giving the narcissist an irritating itch they can't alleviate. To elaborate further, the only way for the narcissist to relieve this itch is by becoming energetically entwined with you again, regaining access to you. Yet when you deny them that opportunity, they start feeling a sense of loss. As time passes, the mere thought of you, with no knowledge of your whereabouts or well-being, causes the narcissist to lose control. They fear you might be thriving without them, realizing they may have underestimated you. The narcissist begins questioning their own desirability, contemplating whether they were not as crucial to you as they believed. As time passes, narcissists grapple with uncertainty about life choices as they become consumed by thoughts of the person they believe outsmarted them, even though they were likely the ones who ended the relationship. This is a characteristic pattern in the mentality of narcissists, manifesting as a significant unresolved issue that lingers in their psyche. Initially, they may choose to overlook it, unwilling to acknowledge the importance of your decision to go no contact. However, as time elapses, they come to realize that addressing this unresolved issue is crucial for their well-being. To resolve this internal conflict, they feel compelled to evaluate you and your current life situation. This marks the beginning of their introspection, yet it's important to note that you hold the power by not providing them with the information they seek. Narcissists, in their relentless pursuit of distraction from unresolved issues, often resort to fleeting highs through various means, such as drugs, sex, or the pursuit of new sources of validation. Despite the temporary euphoria these endeavors provide, the weight of their unresolved problems inevitably catches up with them. The cyclical nature of their behavior becomes evident as they grapple with the consequences of their actions. As the narcissist navigates through this cycle, they reach a crucial juncture where they must decide how to break free. 
One option involves convincing themselves that you are miserable without them, allowing them to re-enter your life in an attempt to regain control. Alternatively, they may actively seek to reintegrate into your life as a significant player, potentially initiating a second round of their influential behavior. The choice they make depends on their assessment of whether they can manipulate you into appearing vulnerable or if they prefer to regain control by once again participating in your life. This complex dynamic underscores the intricate patterns that characterize interactions with narcissistic individuals. Navigating life with a narcissist can feel like an endless loop as they grapple with unresolved issues and seek momentary relief through distractions. However, these temporary diversions only provide fleeting respite, and they often find themselves back at the starting point, unable to break free from their persistent struggles. The key to either perpetuating this cycle or fostering their growth lies in the crucial decision to maintain no contact. Choosing the path of no contact is pivotal. It empowers you to take control of the situation and regulate the narcissist's access to your life. This decision serves as a protective measure, preserving your autonomy and overall well-being. Even when you sense the narcissist lingering or feel an unspoken connection, trust your instincts. Our bodies can pick up on the intensity of such situations. Use these feelings as a reaffirmation of your commitment to no contact, understanding that it is not your responsibility to resolve the problems they have created. In the process of implementing no contact, it's essential to recognize that the Bible offers valuable insights into navigating challenging relationships. Seeking solace in biblical teachings can provide a foundation for understanding the dangers of selfishness, self-promotion, and idolatry. By aligning your actions with these principles, you not only protect yourself from the negative impact of narcissistic behaviors, but also contribute to their accountability and potential for personal growth. Remember, seeking guidance and support from trustworthy sources can be instrumental in overcoming the challenges posed by narcissistic relationships. Thank you sincerely for participating in this insightful discussion. If you found it valuable, please consider liking and subscribing for more wisdom. Becoming a channel member for just $1 grants you access to exclusive perks, supporting us in delivering valuable content on overcoming challenges and fostering personal growth. Your attention is highly appreciated, and your support allows us to continue serving the community. Thank you for joining us on this journey.